Blender 4.4 is coming and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the major changes that are going to be happening in 4.4 and what is going to be improving from 4.3 to 4.4. So let's get started. All of this information is going to be from CG Cookies website. So I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can visit it as well. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, there's going to be a new action slot in the action editor in Blender. As you can see, in the old version, we have the active objects action right there. And then the new one, we also have a action slot over here, as you can see. So you can change the action slot. And as you can see, I create a new data structure, like a different hierarchy to work with. And it's super, super, super cool. Moving on to the compositor, there's been some changes to the nodes. As you can see for the denoise node, the improvement is that you can now trade off quality for speed at render time. So you can change the quality so you can have a render fast time rendering if you do not have a good GPU. And then next, we also have a good a, a improvement in the glare node as well. It says threshold and smoothness controls give better control over highlights. You can adjust the strength and the saturation for more refined effects and the glare factor for sprume and fog glow is now relative to image resolution. As you can see, you can go to 4.4 beta if you want to look at these changes in early advancement. So then you can look at that, that looks, look, it's gonna look at that, and then you can actually add render layers to this, and like that. And it says the node glare options are worse if you open older projects. The settings will appear as input, but may be removed in future versions. If bloom or fog glow looks different, adjust the size, strength sliders to restore the previous look. So that is what compositing is going to look like. And this one is going to be my favorite one, is that the stroke placement and auto masking are going to return in Blender 4.4. And I'm going to do so many tutorials on those. So do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to show you how it works. And it's going to be super, super cool, that stroke function. And it's going to be super, super cool. And then layers and group are now responsive to command like show, hide, unlock. So you're going to get these commands as well. And then lastly, in the video sequencer, you can also add, you can do text editing and performance upgrades. So you can actually, actually edit text like in like CapCut or like, you know, the everyday editing softwares, you can do it directly in Blender. You don't have to go into external softwares like CapCut, DaVinci and etc. And then you're going to have some change to the user interface. And do not forget, you can check his website, Shiji Cookie. I'll leave the link in the description and everything is super, super cool. And I think it's going to be an icon change as well for the material. Change something like this. And everything looks cool. And there's going to be topology changes as well. So do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this short video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And stay tuned for Blender 4.4.